What's up, crowd? What's going on? As for me, I am vlogging hands-free. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I'm using my uh, cell phone holder there. Um, so, I don't know if it's too shaky. Let me know if it's whoa, if too shaky and if it makes you uh, want to throw up. Uh, let me know, and then um, I may not do it again. But Anyway, I want to give you some thoughts I have about marriage. Um, just some advice, some things that I th I've been thinking about. Um, I'm not an expert on this. Um, I have seen many marriages crumble, however. I've seen many mar uh, marriages work. I have seen many people make dumb decisions about marriage. Um, so here, uh, here's, what I, <coughs> here's what I think. Marriage is uh, one of the most important decisions you will make in your life. It is a covenant, a promise, a commitment that you make um, with someone else and uh, with God. Okay, And especially if you're doing it in a church. If you're doing it in a church and you're saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, you're, you're making a covenant before God. So this is not anything that you should take lightly all right don't don't think that this is like i i can't pick the college i'm gonna go to i don't know what major to pick all right this decision is way um way more than that and i guess the reason why i've been thinking a lot about this is because well a lot of people are getting married like have you noticed lately a lot of people are getting married and a lot of tv shows are talking about marriage and and ah oh, it's just so much and like this new thing with this new thing now with like filming your engagement and all so people are getting engaged really fast at least in my school it's really fast it's like in a the summer they get engaged it's like wow are you weighing your options um but this is what really gets me upset it's when girls settle for less they have a picture of what they want they have something not a physical picture uh this is a uh, Brad Pitt I wanted to marry this one no, I mean a picture in their mind, someone that they really desire. Uh, maybe you want someone who's really um, athletic, um, so you can you know spend time doing that with him. Uh, but even beyond outer um, things, his interior. You know, you want someone. Uh, maybe you're a Christian woman and you want a Christian man, a man of God. Maybe you want that person to. Um, just have a love for kids and you really desire that because you want to have kids and uh, that would be a, you know, a very important thing. Someone that's, that makes you laugh. Those things are key things. All right? You got to make a list. A list of non-negotiables and a list of negotiables. Now, where does physical beauty... <coughs> I'm trying to get through a cold. Excuse my cracking. <coughs> wow! Uh, anyway, um... So, non-negotiables. Now, people have... Where does physical beauty lie? Is it a non-negotiable or is it negotiable? I do think that it's okay to weigh in physical attractiveness in that decision. Because I think you should be attracted to the person. I mean, come on. It, it, you know, it's fine. But we have to remember that beauty does not last forever. So, we have to not settle for less. And it's so sad when you see a woman that is great and her personality is great and she has such a great character um, and she settles for less because um, that one guy approached her and he seems very nice and you know he seems very good and she starts to compromise the non-negotiables like ah oh, it's okay you know if he doesn't like children it's alright if he's not a Christian you know that's not a big deal I can make him a Christian I hear that all the time and I'm just thinking Girls, guys, marriage is such an important decision, okay? It is for life. Uh, my one professor said, you can either enjoy a marriage or endure it. Um, so, let me turn the light here. Um, you can either enjoy it or endure it. So, sure, if you pick him, if you pick her, it's going to be tough, but you, you can make it. I, I do think it can work out, but if you pick someone that you really have been waiting for, probably you've been praying for then it's still gonna be tough marriage is always tough but it's gonna be better it's gonna be awesome you're gonna know that man I've been waiting for this man I've been waiting for this woman for a long time but now I finally um, 
met him. I finally married him. So that's all I have to say. I could say so much more about that, but I just want to share a few things. Oh, and also, um, I was thinking about having another channel. I have so many channels, but I was thinking about having another channel um, with specific videos like this, things that I've been learning um, in life, um, in class, um, instead of putting on this channel. I mean, what do you think? Do you think I should just put it on the put it on this channel? And have it like that, or make a different channel. What do you What do you think? Um, let me know um, by posting a comment after the beat. All right. So I gotta let you go. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Tell me what you think about marriage. What you think about settling for less? Um, if you've done a, a bad mistake, if you've made a great mis <laughs> great mistake, <laughs> if you've made a great decision, um, let me know. Okay. And you do this by posting a comment after the beat.